This video clips and explains what simulation is. Now, in our syllabus, simulation is part of the mo modeling applications. Now, the definition is this, and you should read carefully and write it down in your notebook with a pen. No typing. The creation of a model Simulation is the creation of a model of a real system in order to study the behavior of the system. Now it's quite abstract. But just keep that in mind, I will explain with some examples later. And it also says when you are asked to discuss about simulations or when you're asked to talk about modeling application and you must talk about simulation and also you must use this definition so there were three stages in the simulation or modeling process the first one is to collect data the second part is to calculate the data and the next one is respond to the data now you remember what I said, the important thing, the key to learn a lot of things is to remember the key words. That's why I have these video clips with selected keywords from your test book. And that's why you have to write it down in your book. And also here in your notebook, you should highlight the keywords of a sentence. So you know, this is what simulations do collect, calculate, and respond. Now let me give you some examples. Simulation can be very, very complicated, such as in the case of pilot training. But it can be also very humble. In fact, we are all doing it all the time, such as the case of a tuck shop. Or it's not so easy for individual to do but nor is it so difficult as pilot training simulation that is the traffic light model that can be usually done by local governments to clean up the traffic or to regulate the traffic in the BC city now you look at pilot training this involves the use of hardware and software so if you want a pilot training simulation you are most likely to get something like a the pilot's seat okay and that's the hardware and also you use a joystick which is something similar to pilots uh, control of the aeroplane and they were special, specially designed software that come with it and they got a monitor as well so when you are on the pilot's seat in this pilot training simulation module you feel that you are actually flying the aeroplane what you see is quite as close to what you see when you are actually flying as possible So when you fly it and using the simulation system, all the record will be kept. So this is how the pilot training works. The advantage for this is you do not have to risk your life to go to the go in to fly in the air unless you're very good at it. And secondly, it saves a lot of petrol. So the benefit is it's safe and it's cost effective. Okay, you can write this down. And the next example is tuck shop model. This is a very humble and basic one. 
when you run the tuck shop or when you run the little shop, corner shop, you use a computer, a spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel, to keep the incoming and outgoing of goods and money. That is a model and that is a simulation. So in your Excel document, you can use a formula like this. Now this is a very common Excel formula. So you will have get the total number of all the numbers from cell E3 all the way down to E10, whatever it can be. It could be from E3 to E10 in your Excel document, you have all the costs for the month. So at the bottom of this column, you put in this formula so that you get the total amount. That is a simulation because if you change any figure from E3 to E10, the total of the sum will be different. So you can use this as a record keeping to reflect on what has happened of the previous month. But you can also use this to answer the question, what if next month I do not have these costs from E3 to E5? And what would the total cost be? So you, on the Excel, you just by changing this E3 and E6, and you've got the total number. That's a prediction. Okay. So this is one of the major features that is the, of simulation that is a prediction. So th this comes another benefit of simulation, which is and predict. So you can predict what's going to happen in the future, assuming you have to assume, you have to do some assumption, assuming something has changed. So this is the benefit of a prediction. And then the next one, example is traffic light model. Now sometimes in the city you will see some rubber tube are put across the road and every time when the car goes they will have to run over the tube and that is the sensor. Okay, And this information will be collected as analog, analog data and it will then be translated into digital uh, signal into computers and then this data will be put into the computer system in digital format and the computer will calculate and then the finding could be different and one of the finding could be something like this uh, in this part of the row at 5 o'clock from west to the east this part of the road is very busy. So this is the finding because you use this sensor to collect information. And once you find that, then you can set a new rule. Okay, so the council will, city council will have a meeting and they set the rule. They said, well, maybe at five o'clock, all the traffic on the same road running from east to the west is banned so that the whole road is running is open to the traffic from west to the east and after the rule the proposal was discussed and you have to use the west simulation to test to see how this traffic rule is going to work or not Okay, so this is the end of this video clip about simulation.